Hello lovelies, welcome back to my channel. I know you're a little up close and personal right now, but that's how the whole video will be. I will be doing a makeup look for this look. It's a cut crease, a pretty soft, pretty simple and easy cut crease. And the inspiration for the look is Abercrombie 8 Uncovered. This has been one of my favorite summer fragrances. It is light and summery but also still a little sexy and womanly um, and a little bit sultry, which I really like and I've been wearing a lot for a uh, relatively uh, commercial fragrance, which is a little less like me. However, I thought this look is really great. It's one of my favorites. This lipstick is also one of my favorites, so I hope you guys like it. Um, just a simple cut crease that is sexy, sultry, youthful, and a little bit trendy just the way the fragrance is. Alright guys, I hope you enjoy and we'll see you in a week. <clears throat> By the way, my lighting was a little weird. I started off in the daytime and then I had to leave and then come back, so my lighting has been a little funky, so please forgive me. Alrighty guys, I'm Naked Face. I'm going to start with my Real Techniques brush and my Foxy eyeshadow by Urban Decay, and I'm going to put that all over the lid. Next, I'm going to get my MAC eyeliner brush and a little bit of alcohol. I like to make sure that my synthetic brushes are really clean for detailed work like a wing. And using alcohol is really nice because it dries quickly and it keeps things really clean. And I'm going to use my e.l.f. gel liner for my wing. And I just start on the outer corner and work on the point and kind of flick it out right at the end. I do use two eyeliners for this. The brush and the gel liner are easier for me to do on the actual wing section and then for the rest of the eye it's kind of a matte uh, NYX black liner. I like that better because it doesn't transfer. I, my eyes, my eyelids, they touch at the top so having a good liner that doesn't transfer like this NYX one is really helpful and I prefer to use it even though it's not as easy to control. I just go over the top of my gel liner with the other liner. Next I use my MAC 224 brush and my Inglot gray eyeshadow there. I'll list the details about all the products below. And when I start the crease color, which is what this gray is, is I do just kind of an S. I go right into the crease of my eye and then just above the wing on the side of the eye. So I'm not going to be bringing it into a full round circle all the way around my eye, just kind of a little bit of an S in the crease of my eye and along the side of the liner. And then I change my lighting because it was bad earlier, it looks much better now. And just going over that crease multiple times, being extra careful not to get it on the lid, and I go to just a simple brush, I don't think it even has a name, with my MAC Carbon Black Eyeshadow, and just that really thin brush works really, it's really excellent for a cut crease. So I just follow the crevice of my eye, and it's fairly simple, the brush will just go in there very naturally, and I'll just very carefully follow along the wing. You don't want it to quite touch, but you do want your crease to be emphasized quite a lot. And we want the lid to just stay that foxy urban decay color, so very nude, very matte. And it will be kind of a distinct line between the uh, lid and the shadow, the dark shadow. So we're going to soften that out a little bit, going upward, 
but for the most part, the liner will be pretty distinct. And then just to clean things up a little bit, I've taken the Foxy on the liner brush that I've cleaned up and make sure that that nude area is really defined, especially between the liner and the black eyeshadow. So lots of blending with this. So instead of blending along the lid, I kind of hold the brush perpendicular to my face and make sure that I don't blend it on top of the lid, but just up toward my brow. Next, I take my Beauty 360 brow brush, which I couldn't read and couldn't figure out what it was, and my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow in blonde, and I just carve out my brows a little bit, starting from the bottom and trying not to make them too arched or defined. As you can see, I only dip once into my product and then use what I have to disperse it through the rest of my brow. And then I use this NYX brow gel that has a little bit of a tint. It actually works pretty well. I've liked it a lot so far. And then I'm going to use these little wispies from Kiss Cosmetics and put those on. I was having difficulties with these today. The glue that I had isn't what I typically use, so it wasn't as tacky. Darn. Oh well, we figured it out in the end. And then my video cut out, and I ended up having to leave to go somewhere, so I did not finish my makeup just for you guys so I could come home and finish the rest of my video. So now I've got my mascara, which I've added, and I'm just adding a little bit more depth for my eyeshadow. Then I'm going to take this Ulta brush, I think it's just a simple shadow brush, and take a little bit of Bella Sand by Milani, which I have been absolutely loving, as you can tell. It is not too shimmery. It's like a really natural nude sheen. Very natural. I love it. It's not in your face like some other eye highlighters are. So I like to put that right in the duct and just below the brow. Just a catches a little bit of light, and I think it is perfect. Very natural. Not too intense. I tend to go for a more matte look 99% of the time. Now I've got my other Ulta brush, I think this is like a blush brush, and this little sample from Laura Mercier. It's a really good bronzer, I like it a lot. I got it in a sample pack, and I'm definitely going to be repurchasing that. It's a perfect kind of tan shade. So I use that on my, sh on my forehead, and then for my contour, I use Max Sculpt. It's a little bit more gray, which gives it more of that shadow effect that we look for when we're doing a contour. Next, I use my Real Technique brush, which I am being weird with, and using a blush by MAC called Cubic. So MAC Cubic. And I put that just along my cheeks, and I like to put it up toward my temples a little bit more than most. I think that's just because of my round face. So you'll find what works best for you. Stretching my face. And me doting on the Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipstick in Pure Hollywood. I've been liking this a lot more, especially because it's really forgiving. And it is exactly the same color as Cubic, which I think is awesome. So it's like a perfect combo. I love the two of them. So in terms of this lipstick being forgiving, you can blend it a little bit easier just based on the color and don't necessarily have to use a lip liner, which I like a lot. If I have to apply it on the, when I'm rushing, it's not going to be horrible and I can avoid looking in the mirror. 
So that is the final look. I hope that you like it. I am a fan of it. As you can see, being very steely. And the inspiration. Thanks for watching.